In today's video, we're going to compare two of the most popular irons on the market, the TaylorMade P790 and the Callaway Paradigm. These two irons have been making waves in the golfing community, and we're going to take a deep dive into their features, benefits, but also their potential issues. And in today's video, we will ask many questions, one of them being what type of golfer are these irons best suited to? I'll also be asking the question if these irons have an element of playability about them or are they just purely hollow bodied, hot faced, foam injected distance irons. Another consideration for me is what performance benefits do these type of irons provide over other options that are on the market right now. Sit down, sit down. I will also be looking to answer the question as to what are the differences between these two irons and also what are their similarities. Get in. And what I can tell you is, is stay tuned because there are some significant differences between these two irons. They may be packaged the same in terms of players' distance irons, hollow bodied, foam filled, but that's where the similarities end in many ways. And like I said, stick around to find out exactly what the differences are between a Paradigm and a P790. And let's start with what are the similarities and it's exactly what it says on the tin in the sense that these are determined as players distance irons, they are hollow bodied and they are foam injected. That's about where it ends. But maybe more interesting is what makes these two clubs different from each other. Well, first of all, it's the way they look, considerably different. It's the way they sound and the way they feel, considerably different. And it's also the lofts on these things, which is also considerably different. But I think in terms of those differences, a real key point to mention is that element of loft because this might be a game changer for many of you in terms of how strongly lofted the Paradigm are in comparison to those P790s. If you look at the 7 iron, there's one and a half degrees of difference in loft, which is quite a bit when you consider that the, um, the P790 is already considered a strong lofted 7 iron, but then when you get down to the pitching wedge 9 iron, there's sort of three degrees difference in terms of loft, so they get incredibly strong down that short end of the bag in terms of paradigms and I think that's something that you should be aware of and something that you really need to take into consideration as being a key difference between these two sets of irons. But what about sound and feel and trust me I use the word considerable they are considerably different there is no doubt about that no arguing whatsoever I hit several balls here just a few days ago with both clubs in 5, 7 and 9 iron. And what is really noticeable is the fact that the P790 has always for me had a little bit of a clicky sound to it. There's no getting away from that. It was something that they suggested was a forged face, it doesn't have forged feel. And that hollow bodied element although the foam is supposed to dampen that sound I'm not really sure they quite achieved that and like I said it would always be one of my hesitations, criticisms of P790s, if any, because there are a few, but the sound wasn't great. What Callaway have done with Paradigm, I have no idea in terms of what's inside there, but the sound is completely different. It's a lot softer, it's a lot more easier on my ear, it's a lot more responsive into their hands and you would not describe it as clicky, you'd describe it as the opposite end of the spectrum in being soft. So for me, quite surprisingly, the Callaway Paradigm at this point has got a real strong element in its favour in terms of that sound and feel. And this is a video where there's a great opportunity for you to get involved in that comment section below because there's a couple of things I need answers to and that's first of all, how many of you have got the Paradigm irons on your radar in a possible one to try this year? And the second question is for people who are uh, using P790s, there's a lot of you out there. What are your findings after having them in the bag for probably a period of time? Are they living up to expectations 
or are there some downfalls? Either way, I'd love to hear from you in that comment section. Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Hot Golf, the online golf megastore, bringing you the hottest deals in golf, and of course, the clubs featured in today's video. Find the link to the Hot Golf website in the description below, and check out some incredible giveaways and offers. And then, of course, that all important thing of looks. Now, some people suggest that it's not a big deal, but for me, I think that if you're going to invest a fairly hefty sum of money, then you're going to have to like what you are looking at. So this, for me, is a key element, and they're very, very different in this area as well, or as I've said, considerably different. For me, the P790 is an iron that is trying to look like a blade, trying to look like a better player's iron and appeal to a certain audience the paradigm however is the complete opposite it's almost an iron that looks like a small compact game improvement iron it hasn't made any attempt to become sleek and refined like the p790 has don't get me wrong it's a good looking iron but if you looked at it on the shelf and you had to describe it as to which category it fell into you would surely put this into a game improvement type of iron visually and a p790 the complete opposite so for me considerable difference but also a key element in deciding on which way you would go between buying one of these two irons so putting all them things to one side how do these clubs perform and how do they differ in terms of performance well, I went into the indoor studio at Hollywell Golf Club and I collected some data earlier on today. The interesting thing was it performed or they performed pretty much exactly as we'd expect. Don't forget, strong lofted paradigm means that ball speed's a little bit higher, carry distance a little bit further, spin a little bit lower. The only parameter that surprised me a little bit was that average launch angle being not greatly different so yet again cg location is key irrelevant to the strength of loft in just how these clubs have the ability to launch the ball high and that's what paradigm do incredibly well not as well as the p790 but a lot of that down to the loft comparison but i also took them out on the golf course and hit quite a few shots and what did i find then That was the paradigm, by the way. I don't know whether you pick it up on the microphone, but you should be getting a nice soft sound that, as I've said, was quite unexpected from this type of iron. And just to complete our similarities and differences, the cost of these irons is pretty much the same. And in terms of offset, again, virtually negligible in the difference between the two sets. So when it came to on-course performance, what was my verdict? Well, it was the first thing I would note is that although the launch angle on the seven iron data was very similar, it was very different in terms of outdoor on the course in reality. The majority of balls that I hit, the ball flight or the launch angle was noticeably different from the P790. Um, so that's one thing I would pick up on. The sound and feel element that I've spoke about already was really noticeable out on the golf course rather than in an indoor situation. Again, very much preferable towards that paradigm. But these are both very forgiving. They're irons with fast ball speeds. They are a neat little package at a dress. And uh, overall, in all the shots that I hit, both irons performed as well as the swing I put on them, to be quite honest with you. They did really, really well. I couldn't knock either in terms of on-course performance. All you would notice side by side is the difference, slight difference in the strength of loft. And I think that again is something for the individual. What is it you're exactly looking for from your set of irons? But like I said, on the course, they are both very, very good performing irons. For me, what they do is offer up a package of a refined look with forgiveness that are perhaps aimed at almost the sort of middle ground, if you like, because these irons for me are maybe, if you look at the sort of, the, the golfer that considers himself a low handicapper, a bit of a player, struggling a bit in uh, terms of sticking with his blades and wants a little bit more forgiveness, so sort of slides into them P790s. And then you've got the sort of 
the player, the aspiring golfer, who's maybe that 15 to 20 handicapper, doesn't really like the look of his sort of bulky game improvement irons anymore and wants to sort of slide into that middle ground again with a slightly more refined look but doesn't want to give up on the forgiveness so they hit a real sweet spot in terms of who these irons appeal to but the question is and final question I suppose is do they appeal to me well the simple answer to that question is no and for different reasons, both sets of irons for all the sort of negatives that I've shown on each of them, and that being the P790s, I'm not overly keen on the sound and feel, so I wouldn't personally invest that money into that uh, set of irons. And then if you talk about Paradigm, I like a lot about these things, but I would prefer the looks of the P790. And similar, I don't really want a, uh, I wish you could see where this ball was landing, I really don't want a set of irons that I consider players distance irons looking like ultimately a game improvement iron for as good as they look. So for me, I still want a compromise between the two. I want the feel that comes out of the paradigm, the performance that comes out of both of them, but maybe from a looks perspective, more like the tailor-made P790. Right, that's me done on a glorious morning here at Hollywell Golf Club. I hope you enjoyed that one. What we've tried to do is shine a light on both similarities and differences between both sets of irons. But ultimately, whichever you choose, it's likely going to be about personal preference. And either way, I'm sure you're not going to be disappointed. Right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow night. Look how they feel, how they sound. How did they perform when I went into the indoor fit studio? Differ. Well, I went into the indoor fit studio. Why can't I say studio?